Hey guys, how's it going? I'm here to tell you all about the tours I've got lined up for 2024. And if you're new to the channel, these are the tours that I organize with Intrepid Travel. I create a bespoke itinerary with them and put it on sale to you guys that follow my channel. And we all go off and have an adventure together, which I create a film of. But before we get into it, those of you that saw the USA road trip film or have been following my Instagram account, will know that Jamie and I got engaged. And so next year, I'm gonna be getting married and moving to Canada. So nothing major really, just small life adjustments. Um, I'm not gonna get into it in this video and talk about it. That's a video for a later date and I'll do lots of stuff on it in the future, but just to sort of give you context of what's going on in my life and uh, how busy and crazy the next 12 months is gonna be. Now I'll get into the 2024 tours in just a second, but one of the questions I often get asked uh, when people see the other tour videos like Colombia, Iceland, Pakistan is, are you gonna do another tour there? And so I've set up a new section on my website. If you go to carlwatson.net forward slash tours, you'll see all the information on the 2024 tours, but there's a new section you can click on called Carl's Recommended Tours. And if you go on there, you can book trips with Intrepid Travel that are like the ones you've seen in the videos. So let's say you saw Pakistan and you'd like to go on a similar tour in Pakistan. You click on Pakistan and then there you are, there's a whole bunch of tours you can book. And I've got quite a few destinations set up based on my previous trips. And there's a few different trips on offer, like different styles, budgets, and also schedules. So you can sort of make it work for when you want to go. Those trips are very similar to the ones I did, but they're not the actual bespoke itineraries that I do on my trips. So one of the questions I wanted to ask you guys was, if I was to put on another tour, say in Colombia or Pakistan or wherever, and it's the exact same itinerary that I did on my trip, would you guys be interested in going on that trip? Now, I won't be on it. I'm not gonna go back on and do the exact same trip again, so it means you won't get the film. But if you love that Columbia itinerary, I could work with Intrepid and put that tour on and put it on sale to you guys and you guys can go off and do that tour. So it would basically be a Carl Watson tour just without Carl Watson on. And I sound like such a dick talking about myself in a third person, I hate it. But you get the idea, it'll be the exact same trip, just you won't get the video, so it'll cost less. But would you guys be interested in that? Just let me know in the comments. Like, If there's enough demand for it, we can organize it, we can put it on. If there's not, so be it, it's fine. Anywho, 2024 tours. So I've got four trips lined up, um, although two of the tours are like back to back, so it's basically just like three trips. The first one's going to be in February 2024, and we're going to be going to Sri Lanka. This will be a 14 day tour, and for this trip, I didn't just want to be cruising around Sri Lanka, ticking off all the sites you've seen on Instagram. There will be some of that, like yes, you will go up Lions Rock, and yes, you will get to ride on that train, but I just wanted the trip to be a bit more active. So there's gonna be day treks, there's gonna be cycling, which should be mostly downhill. We're gonna go kayaking, and not on like a lake or on the sea, we're gonna actually be going down rapids. Like, you don't need any previous experience to do that, they're gonna train you up, and it's gonna be pretty small rapids, but should be a lot of fun. Then in terms of wildlife, we're gonna be doing safaris in three different national parks. When we get down to the beach, there'll be chill time at the beach, but we're also gonna do a whale and dolphin watching boat tour. And then in terms of accommodation, like normally we stay in pretty nice places. Uh, on this trip for two nights, we're actually gonna be camping. We're gonna be staying at a place in Knuckles Mountain Range, doing this pretty basic camping. And then during the day, we're gonna go do a trek in the jungle to go see some waterfalls and stuff. And then when we get back, we get to hang out with the local community. We're gonna have this big barbecue dinner around the campfire. So it's gonna be pretty sweet. But then after that, it's like, okay, cool, I've done my camping, I've done my roughing it experience. Now give me the hot tub in the lush green mountains. So the places we're staying at are pretty sweet, loads of big activities included. And so the cost for this trip is going to be £2,659 for 14 nights. Now next up is Kenya and Tanzania, which will be in August. And this will be a 12 day tour now, from my experience of traveling Southern Africa when I did the Cape Town to Victoria Falls thing a few years back, like your on the ground costs in Africa, like your food and your drinks are pretty low, it's pretty cheap. But then as soon as you want to do a safari or something like that, it's like, all right, give me $400, give me $600. So Africa can be quite expensive. And with Intrepid, they normally do two kinds of tours. They either do the premium one, where you're sort of traveling in four by four Jeeps the whole time, staying in this really lush, like five-star accommodation, or they do the basic one where you're in the overland truck, but then you're just camping in a basic tent. It's like they drive you and it's like, right, go set up your tent, go clean your dishes. 
I wanted something in between the two for this tour and that's what we've got. So we will be traveling in the big overland truck, but then there won't be any camping. Like some of the places we stay in are called camps, but it's like those permanent huge tents with a double bed and a seat and all the luxuries of a normal hotel. But of course, this trip's all about the wildlife. We'll be going to the Serengeti and a few other national parks. There'll be loads of game drives, boat tours. There's gonna be two opportunities to do a hot air balloon ride, but they're not included in the trip. The reason I didn't include them in the budget is because one of them costs $500, the other one costs $600. So I thought I'd rather leave that up to you as to whether you want to spend that extra money to do a hot air balloon ride or not. And as well as all the wildlife, we'll be visiting a couple of villages as well and having some cultural experiences around all the safari stuff. So the cost of the Kenya and Tanzania trip is £4,356. And then the next tour is straight after that, which is going to be in Uganda. And I did look at doing this as like a combo tour, like we did with Patagonia and Antarctica. But I've decided to keep them separate, and the reason being is I wanted to give everyone a couple of days in between just to have like a bit of a breather and a bit of a rest. Because the Kenya and Tanzania tour finishes with us being dropped at Arusha Airport. And then from there you've got two days to get up to Uganda. You can just fly straight up, you can spend longer there. What I'm going to be doing is flying to Zanzibar and having a couple of days chilling on the beach. And yeah, I looked at having that actually included in the tour. But I've said this before with other trips, you don't need to pay a tour guide or a tour company to just relax on the beach. So you're kind of paying a bit much of a premium for doing that experience. So I thought, have it separate, have a couple of days off. Everyone can unwind after like the 12 day trip. And then we regroup in Uganda if you're doing both trips. But Uganda itself, from whatever hotel you're staying at, from when you arrive, the first morning of the tour will all get picked up and then we head to the national parks. And there's three main stops we're doing in Uganda. The first one is Kibali National Park. That's where we're hopefully gonna see some chimpanzees and do a tracking through the jungle to try and see them. There'll also be a swamp walk there and other things. And then we go to Queen Elizabeth National Park doing a boat cruise and a game drive. And then finally we head to Bwindi Impenetrable National Park. I think that's how you pronounce it. And that's where we go see the gorillas. And again, this is another active trip, like trekking through the jungle to see the gorillas is gonna be hard work, but it's gonna be amazing. And it's something I've been wanting to do ever since I was a kid. So I don't have a bucket list, but if I did, this would be top of the list. So it's gonna be great to actually finally do it. And the cost of Uganda is 3,769 pounds. And the final tour I'll be doing will be in September 24. And this one's gonna be in Canada. Now I mentioned at the start of the video I'm going to be moving to Canada next year and by autumn next year hopefully my permanent residency will be approved and once it is I have to stay put in Canada for a bit whilst I get my permanent resident card and so I won't be able to travel anywhere outside the country so I figured why not bring everyone to me and do a tour in Canada. So this trip's going to be in the Canadian Rockies which is a place I've been to many times before and again I wanted this to be quite an active trip with lots of different hikes and stuff. What I wanted from this trip was to have like a mixture of the classics. So if you've never been to the Canadian Rockies before, then yes, you will get to go to Banff, you will go to Lake Louise, you will go to Jasper. But then we'll also do some other activities that sort of, I don't want to use the phrase off the beaten track because then someone will say, no, mate, loads of people go there. But it's certainly not on the, the route that every man and his dog does when they go to the Canadian Rockies. So we'll be going on whitewater rafting in Yoho National Park. Um, we're going to go canoeing on Clearwater Lake and that'll be like two days of canoeing and we'll be camping on an island in the lake. So like Sri Lanka, just have a couple of days basic camping in, but the rest of the accommodation will be really nice as per usual. And then we'll be coming around to Revelstoke and going paragliding there. And so the cost of the Canada trip is I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the final itinerary and cost to come through, uh, but I've had some delays in getting these tours on sale. Like I wanted it on sale a couple of months ago, but for reasons out of my control, there's been some delays. And I'm just dying to get Sri Lanka and Africa out there now because I'm flying out to Antarctica on Tuesday. So I really just want those tours launched, but I should have the Canada cost and itinerary come through in the next two, three, four days. So hopefully they'll all be able to go on sale on the same date, but Sit tight, you'll find out about Canada soon and I'll let you know on here, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. Now, all the information for all these tours is on my website. So if you go to carlwatson.net forward slash tours, then you scroll down, find the tour that you're interested in, click on that, and there'll be a brief summary of what's included and what isn't on the tour. But if you hit download complete itinerary, 
that PDF gives you all the information. And once you have that PDF, you have as much information about the tour as I do, because it has everything in. But if you do have any more questions, feel free to leave it in the comments here, or message me via the contact form on my website, or send me a message on Instagram and I might see it unless the request is hidden. The trips are going to go on sale on Thursday the 9th of November, but as usual, there'll be a pre-sale for patrons on the 2nd of November, and you can sign up to be a Patreon at the link right here. And how to book the tours? Well, when they go on sale, if you go to carwatson.net forward slash tours, all those buttons that have the on sale date will switch to click here to book now. That'll take you through the booking form. You fill that out, you'll get an automated reply saying we've received your booking request. Then within 72 hours, I'll let you know if you're on the tour or if you're on the waiting list. If you're on the tour, I'll forward your information to Intrepid Travel and then they'll contact you to get your deposit payment to confirm your place on the tour. If you're on the waiting list, then don't despair because we always get some cancellations on tours. And so in a few days or a few months time, I could message you saying, hey, you still interested in coming on that tour? And then we'll get you on. Now you might be asking, am I right for these tours? It's not about how experienced or inexperienced you are with traveling. It's more just sort of having the right attitude to sort of go with the flow, go with the adventure, because not everything always goes to plan, even on a group tour. And so you just have to be willing to go with the flow. Like if you're high maintenance and want every single little thing perfect, then this maybe isn't for you. We just want people to easy go and can get on with others great and just up for a good laugh. Like if you've seen the other videos, we don't take ourselves too seriously. We like to have a good time along the way. Like yes, we're there to experience the country, the culture and do the activities on the itinerary. But during that and in between all of that, we just want to have a damn good time and have a really good laugh. So yes, all the information is on the website and when they go on sale, you'll see the click here to book link, fill out the form, you'll get an automated reply. Then 72 hours later, you'll find out if you're on the tour or on the waiting list. If you're on the tour, Intrepid will get in touch with you and get your deposit to confirm the booking. And that's it. But yes. Super buzzing for these trips, you know, Sri Lanka I've been wanting to go to for many years and the Africa ones have just been so high up on the list for such a long time, so it's going to be really good fun and then at the end of it all, I'll get to invite you to my new home in Canada. Not literally my home, we'll be in a different province, but still, it's going to be my new home country, okay? That's it! Back to Winnipeg! But yeah, thanks for watching guys, any questions just get in touch and I'll see you soon.